Hi everyone, this is Cass from Boom Gel Stain. So today I'm just going to do a really quick uh, flip cup with Boom Booster Drops, followed by a balloon kiss. Okay, so my first colour into my cup is my Lily Pilly Pink. I'm just going to pop that down in there. My next colour is a bit of Galar Grey. I've just got to clean my cap up a bit. Mm, doesn't look good. So this is Galar Grey. Um, then I'm going to go some Pinnacle Sands. Oh, no I'm not. Okay, now I'm going to pop a couple of drops of our Boom Booster in. Oops, that was three drops, but doesn't matter. Pinnacle Sands. And then this is Pandaria Pink. Okay. Um, I'm going to pop a couple more drops in. I might go another bit of our ugh, Lily Pilly. And this one is a bespoke boom colour and it's Pharaoh's Gold. Um, I hope we get to see some of this come up because it's really beautiful. So I'll pop that in there but hopefully it's not too far down in the cup. Okay, what am I do? So I'll add a little bit of white. This is our Sterling Wax White. Pop a blob of that down. That'll do. Okay, so I'm not going to mix that, but I don't want the Boom Booster drops um, to be the first thing to come into contact with my canvas. So I'm going to take that away, just pop down a little bit of white in here. I'll just spread that out a little bit, and then I'm just going to flip my cup. So I'm just going to pause. I'm just going to give that a couple of minutes. Okay, that's been a couple of minutes roughly. I'm just going to see what happens. It looks like I've got way too much product. I'm not used to using these bigger cups. But that's okay. I'll be able to use the skin for something else. I never have, like, I don't have waste. Isn't that beautiful though? Stunning. Okay. Hope my canvas turns out like the cup. We'll see what happens. And while I had you guys paused, I went racing around looking for my torch and uh, my gas canisters there and my torch top's gone. So I have absolutely no idea what's happened. And I've got the, it's quite warm here, so we've got the EVAP conditioner on, or cooler. So I don't know, I mean, you can see I've got a ton of cells coming through. Um, but normally, if I know I'm going to do a balloon kiss, I will hit it with the torch. But I don't think I'm going to have that option today. It's just, I'm trying to guide this down properly, but I've also got working under the um, camera, <laughs> so which I did last time too. It's a bit crazy, but I'm just trying to squeeze things in while I'm at home. So 
I have got a fair bit running off, which I wouldn't normally have. So let's just get this bottom corner happening. everywhere okay sorry guys I know I was going in and out of view there okay so oh oh be oh be oh be I'm just gonna try and tilt back this way a little bit There's some pretty movement happening there, though. Okay, I'll let that rest. I'm just going to pick up my drips and make sure my canvas edges are good. Those colours are pretty insane, aren't they? Together. I've never tried this color combination and I was scrolling through Facebook and someone used very similar colors and I was just inspired. The gold's really showing up well in the camera. I'm just gonna pause while I wash my hands. Okay, so I just had that pause while I washed my hands, only for a minute or so. So, when I know I'm going to do a balloon kiss, I'll actually let the canvas rest for, you know, 15 minutes, half an hour. It depends on what the weather's like, how warm it is, um, and how much product I've used. If I went and did a balloon kiss now, it would actually, um, it would come back into itself or onto itself and you would lose that definition because it's still just moving and settling. So it needs to rest. So I'm going to leave it to rest for about 10, 15 minutes and then um, start recording again. So you'll see it'll look maybe a little bit different. I'm not sure, but you can see the cells starting to come up and go a bit crazy which I did add a couple of, you know, I really, I could have done with less Boom Booster, but when I know I'm going to do a balloon kiss, I don't mind. I like excessive cells and so on, just to create some movement when I do my kisses with the balloon, so. Okay, so I'll pause it and it'll come back magically. So we're about halfway through the resting period. Um, I couldn't find my flame, so I went and literally I found a lighter and uh, I've burnt my finger and my nail. Oh, I think I might have actually really burnt it. And I've just fluffed around, um, you know, trying to get some heat happening. And you can see I've got a few little wormies that came up and you can see my cells are opening up and that's because I did have a bit too much um, product on there but not too much I haven't got a lot of wastage happening and as it's resting it's just spreading out and opening up so which is really nice and there's some areas that I absolutely love and then areas that I don't like at all so I wish this would just stay I don't want it to move anymore because that little cluster there is just really cool um, and I love this area here don't like that at all or this area but that's the beauty of doing a balloon kiss. And this little corner here, where I filled it up with my drips, or the runoff, um, it's a bit too, um, I don't know, it's all over the place. So um, I'll actually probably cover that with a solid color, just pour it straight out of the bottle. So we'll come back and, yeah. Okay, so this has been resting for total in about, uh, about 10 minutes. Um, if it was winter and I was freezing, I would let it rest for 30 minutes, an hour. 
Um, so I'm going to start in the corners because I tend to find these, of course, start to dry first. And my balloons deflated quite a bit, but I do like to use um, my balloons once they've deflated slightly, but this might be a little bit too deflated. So let's see, we're about to see in a way, aren't we? That is my dog grooming herself. Um, it sounds completely and utterly disgusting. Ava! <laughs> so, just know that's my dog and not me. <laughs> Okay, um, let's go over here. Oh, that's really kind of pretty, isn't it? So remember I said there's a motley part here that I really don't like. I want to do a kiss there first and see what other color I wanted to introduce. Um, oh, I might just leave it for a minute. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's go up here. Um. I'm just going to drag that a little bit more again. I may even go a little bit here. So all I'm doing is just gently dragging it and bring it back into the middle. I, I wanted to keep those cells there so and it looks a bit silly, but I'll be able to incorporate it just with a little wispy bit coming into it. But I can get rid of this. Make that look a bit bigger. Maybe do a tiny one here. So see, that started to dry up too much. So all I'm going to do is I'll just pop down onto my balloon. I'll show you what I do. Oops, when I take my cap off. Um, sorry, I'm just fluffing around getting these caps undone. Oh, that's too much white. Okay. So I've just put the colors directly onto there. And all I've done is blown them a little bit on the balloon while they're on the balloon just to blend it just a touch. So I'm just going to let that work its way down to the tip of the balloon. So I'll often dip down a couple of times to um, take away that look of just being added that makes sense. Now I've got a bit of product there. I can pop those balloons soon. It doesn't matter. I mean that bubbles. I'm just going to drag that just a tiny bit. There we go. I'm happy with that. Yeah, I've lost a bit of definition in the centre. So that's what I mean about if it hasn't rested long enough, you will lose definition. Um, and so you need to keep coming back to it. My balloon isn't the greatest either. That's so pretty, but I know there's a ton of product just there. Um, I like this area, I like this area. I need to fix here so I'm just going to pop a 
little bit of wine straight out of the bottle. <laughs> a little bit, she says, and blop. Okay, I'm going to put some of that on my balloon. And I've got some of my leftovers in here. So I'm actually, well, what was left in the car. I'm just going to grab some of that as well. As you can see, pick up some more white. Let's see what happens. do okay I've messed it up really but do you know what if you just keep working at it I really don't want to lose that I just think that is just so pretty so let me just try again okay I'm actually Quite happy with that now and I might play still but anyway I'm happier okay where to next over here oh that's so pretty My balloon is too deflated, so you can see I'm losing some of my center point because it's just so floppy, but I can go back and add it in. And I know that doesn't look balanced, but I'll show you what I do to go on. Well, I'll just do it now, actually. So I will just get my finger. I'm using my nail. And see how it, like, broadens it? I'll do it over to this one as well. Because remember, I want to try and keep those cells there. So now it's balanced it out a bit more. Um, what's happened there? Let's have a look. Too much product, so I'm just gonna try and dab off the center. think hmm. okay I might just pause it and have a little play um, off the camera and that's only because I want to get in the cameras like this it's restricting my um, reaching in and over the canvas so that's why I'm going to pause it all right so there's a little bit of a difference. I've done some playing off camera. Um, it's just a lot easier if you can get to it properly. Um, so this area now, I know it looks a bit haphazard, but trust me, once that's dry, that's gonna be stunning. So here I need to do something. I've got a couple of bubbles up there, but that's all fine. I had some excess product here and I lost some of that shape, which I think maybe it's actually my balloon. Sorry, it's quite possible. Um, and where I've just um, added a few lines just to like get it more flowing. So I'll show you what I mean by that. Maybe, am I gonna do, what am I going to do? So what I'll do is I'll just, I think I did one before while I was recording but see how that's kind of softened it and it's now not looking quite so odd well to me I'll do another one here um, maybe here So 
see doesn't I see to me that looks so much better just having it like connecting okay so here something's got to happen here <laughs> um, but I don't want to take away from this and I just want it to my plan is for it to resemble a little tiny mini kiss maybe I should just use my fingers so I'll just go like that there we go I'm happy with that maybe I'll just um, no it's coming in okay I'll just do one little one there we go All right, so I think that's quite cute now. Uh, where else? So I wasn't going to touch that one because I think it looks quite cool. And you can see now how it's all settled, it's spread. Um, the cells that I didn't like or were a bit displaced, I've gotten rid of. And there's still a couple there that I probably could have worked on, but I think this is quite balanced now. This is a bit odd actually it's almost too much although it goes with down here what should I do what should I do mm. what I might do which might make a difference so there's a bit of lily pilly pink in that so I'm just going to pop some onto my finger and incorporate it that way let's see what happens it might make it look not quite so out of place if that makes sense what are you rethinking mm. that's a lot okay sorry about that abrupt stop start uh, my short video ended up going over my allowed recording time <laughs> so I'm doing just a quick video to show you what I've got going on my daughter's giggling in the background they're playing a game so that was the corner I was working on when the video stopped suddenly, and I'm much happier with it now. And I can't wait to share. I'm gonna pop photos at the end, but I can't wait for this to dry. It really is. This isn't doing it justice, let me. Can you see that now? Like the uh, bespoke boom bar colour, the Pharaoh's Gold, um, it's quite transparent, so it's got, we've got this pink and then it's got this river of gold going across it, it's just stunning, like really beautiful, I'm really glad I added it now, I wasn't sure if it was going to show up because I thought I added it too late in my cup but I didn't, because look at that. It's actually, oh gosh. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna pop some photos on this, some wet photos, and then the dry will be connected to it. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Please forgive it, forgive my um, unprofessionalism when it comes to recording videos. I'm just not good at it, but I do it and hope that you guys get something out of it. So please forgive me if you, look, if you don't like it, please <laughs> don't leave bad messages. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye guys.